Hi, I'm Louise from The Sleep Store, and this is a video on how to use a stretchy wrap with a focus on baby safety. First, we're going to sh I'll show you how to put the wrap on. The important thing for safety with using a stretchy wrap is to make sure that the wrap is snug. This means that it will hold your baby securely. If the wrap is too floppy or loose, your baby is in danger of falling out because the wrap is not being used as intended. So at this point here, make sure that the cross pass, that the wrap pass is snug. Make sure that these two passes here are also snug. So you can pull down here if you want to tighten it. Check that this is still snug. Cross those over, wrap around, and tie securely with a reef knot. So at this point, before you put the baby in the wrap, it should feel snug. Snug like a tight-fitting t-shirt. There should be just enough room that you can stretch this to fit your baby in. If at this point the wrap is loose, you should take it off and start again, or you should undo it a few steps and go back to where you could tighten it and get it to pull in firm against your body. This is a two-way stretch wrap, so it stretches outwards and across. If you're using a one-way stretch, it will feel tighter because it doesn't have the stretch out this way. Either one can be wrapped very securely, it just needs to be snug enough to hold baby close to you. So now we're going to learn how to put baby safely into your stretchy wrap. This is how it should look before you start. You have two passes crossed firmly over your body and the third wrap pass here, which is like the safety belt, which holds it all snug at the end. Start with baby high up on your shoulder and slide baby into the inside layer of your wrap. So hand comes in the outside, guide baby in, sit baby on the first pass. Do the same on the other side, baby's leg comes in. And at this point, pause to make sure that your baby is supported by two layers of fabric. See that baby has legs either side of the cross. We have one layer, two layers, both layers go right out to the knee. Baby's legs are out of the wrap. This is a safety feature that baby's legs are out rather than tucked up in the fetal position. This will stop baby slipping out the side of the carrier and it also means that you're not going to get pressure on baby's feet. This reflex can make babies push up and again contribute to a potential fall risk from babies coming at the top of the carrier. A stretchy wrap works by the three layers being right across your baby. So there's the two layers and then here's the third layer. And this should come up to the nape of your baby's neck, so the back of their head here, and through down to the knees as well. So there you can see our three layers are right across baby, and the whole wrap is snug and close fitting. Now we're going to look at the safety checks for the stretchy wrap. Any baby carrier is safe when used according to the instructions, and if you follow the safety guidelines carefully. So we're going to go through that step by step so that you know how to use your stretchy wrap and all the checks have been covered. It's not as bad as it sounds. There's really only two things to check for. The first one is looking at your baby's airways. One of the, th one of the risks using a stretchy wrap or any baby carrier is suffocation. So we wanna look at all the ways we can make sure that our baby's airways are clear and your baby is not at risk of suffocation in their carrier. So the first thing is, making, is looking at where your baby is positioned. Your baby should be high on your chest, close enough to kiss. The reason for this is that the top of our chest is firm and flat, and your baby's face is safe on a firm surface. If your baby is positioned down lower on your chest, it's squishy and soft, and your baby's face could disappear clean into your squishy chest. So we want our baby positioned high, up against the firm part of the chest. The next thing to check for is your baby's hand position. By having your baby's hands up by their face, 
you can position them up by their mouth and nose and this will help with keeping the airways clear. It will also give your baby something to snuggle into and suck on their fingers which can also be helpful. Then we're going to have a look at the position of the fabric. So the aim when you're keeping your baby's airways clear is to have no fabric over your baby's face. So this means avoid wearing a coat over your baby, it uh, means avoiding putting the fabric of the wrap over your baby and just paying attention to where the wrap sits against your baby's face. So the recommendation would be to pull your wrap down slightly so the excess fabric is not by your baby's face. And you can just flip that back up or you can just bunch it but we don't want the excess fabric up around your baby's mouth and nose. The next thing would be to make sure that your baby is being closely monitored and you can check the airways are clear at all times. So we don't want to just pop our baby in the wrap and then pretend the baby's not there. You're going to be checking on your beautiful baby, it's right here, so be checking that its airways remain clear because as you move around the, the fabric may stretch back over or you may have breastfed your baby and moved them into a slightly different position so just keep monitoring and checking so see here while I've wriggled <laughs> this has come down a little bit so we want to just keep checking that the fabric stays in the place that we intended it to be and there you can see baby's earways are clear okay and the second safety check is to make sure that your carrier is genuinely hands-free can you walk around wearing your carrier and your baby is not in danger of falling out? All baby carriers have a risk have a risk of baby falling if the carrier is not used correctly. We're going to check that your baby is truly hands free and you can walk about and get on with your day and baby will stay safe and secure right here. So the first thing with making sure your carrier is hands free is that you tie it correctly. Follow the instructions carefully. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't assume you've got it right. Follow the instructions step by step. So with a stretchy wrap, it's this point here about the three passes right across your baby's back and the third one up to the nape of the neck. That keeps your baby secure and means your hands free. In comparison, if these wraps, if we had taken a shortcut here um, and this pass here, only came up halfway you can see the difference this is not hands-free we would be in danger of dropping our baby but when we have the three passes right across our baby and the third one up to the nape of the neck you can see the difference it's very secure the second thing to avoid the risk of your baby falling is to look at what activity you're using your carrier for a carrier such as a stretchy wrap is intended for walking for moving about in a gentle manner. You can use it at home for doing, you know, just general household activities. You could use it for a walk around the block, use it when you're out at the shops and so on. It's not designed for running, jumping, gymnastics, mountain climbing, bike riding, and bending over. So it's really important to stress that there is a fall hazard with using a carrier if you don't tie it correctly or if you use it inappropriately. So around the house in your normal day-to-day -day activity, the biggest hazard is you bending over. So if you do need to bend over, which is going to be common if you have another child or if you're doing things around the house, you must take your hand and hold your baby securely with one hand before you move so baby is safe. So in comparison, if I bent like that without holding it, you can see that your baby's head is no longer supported. And if the wrap was also tied incorrectly, and I did that, oh, baby's doing some rather unsafe gymnastics. So it's really important to follow both of those guidelines. First, we need to tie the wrap safe and secure, and we need to use the wrap for gentle day-to-day -day activities, supporting our baby if we do need to bend and pick something up. Your carrier will always have instructions that come with it. Most carriers now have, an, have a label sewn inside which will cover the suffocation risk and the fall risk. And that will give you some more information about what activities you can and can't do with your carrier. 
And now we recommend you follow the next few points to do all your safety checks with your stretchy wrap. And once you get to the end of that, if you're still not sure if you're using it safely and correctly, you're very welcome to contact us for us to have a look at how you're wearing your wrap. You can send us a photo by email, you can post it on our social media, and we'd be happy to come back to you with some tips. You can also visit your local baby wearing group to have some hands-on help from trained peer supporters, or you could make an appointment with a local baby wearing consultant. Thanks for watching.